I just got my 2024 Blessed Is She Catholic Liturgical Planner, and I'm so excited to open this up and show you the new theme, some of the new things inside, and really walk you through how amazing it is. I'm Amber with Solutions for Simplicity, and this channel is all about planning, productivity, and purposeful living, which means keeping your days and your focus centered around what matters most. For me, that's faith and family, and so I'm just gonna open this up, walk you through why I love this planner. I had the privilege of using it last year, but of course this year's version is a little bit different, so stay tuned, let's dive in. So it comes in this beautiful box and I love that they even have the special tape. You open it up and it's all nicely wrapped and protected. Let me get this out here. Now they had a few different cover design options in terms of whether you wanted the spiral binding or regular book binding, what size you wanted, but I personally picked the largest option that they had because I just need lots of space to plan out everything I have going on in my life. But again, the theme is this beautiful saying here that you are standing on holy ground. This is the calendar year and it's got this nice elastic that will keep your planner closed. The really nice gold coil binding here. And I hope you can see how thick this is. It's really sturdy. It's a little bit heavy. Maybe not the kind of thing that you are porting around in your purse all of the time, but it definitely will fit very easily in a bag or a briefcase. And I am sure someone that needs my planner all of the time. There's this pocket folder on the front cover. And there is another one in the back here. So plenty of space to keep loose items. You've got room to write your name and your contact information so that you're claiming this planner for yourself. A little note from the company. You have the whole year at a glance and then all of these important dates, particularly feast days, holy days, right? Different um, you know, people that were celebrating on different days. I love that. A clear list of the holy days of obligation with reminders about what that entails. And then how cool is this? You've got different novenas and the recommended start dates. So that's very cool. There are really helpful resources in here about holy hour, Friday penance, all kinds of prayers. And I hope you can see that there is this tab here, all of these beautiful tabs on the side so that you can easily flip there and see what you need to know. How beautiful is this? This is instructions for how to pray the rosary with a list of all of the different mysteries in case you don't have them memorized. And then this is so helpful. A really, really awesome examination of conscience, which is great because a lot of times I can't find my different resources for that. And I always wanna make sure that I have thoroughly just uh, thought through what I'm bringing to reconciliation. And to have this in one handy place where you'll keep everything else is so great. And then we have the first monthly spread. You've got a whole beautiful recommendation of consecrating your year to Jesus and room to write out kind of what you're going to be thinking about and praying about this month. I love that. You can see here that every month has a different saint that they are focusing on and then a different emphasis here. So um, I'll try and point those out as we go through. But then the monthly spread looks like this. And again, it's so nice and big. You have beautiful quotations from the saint of the month up top. You've got the prior month and the month that follows up here. And then the beautiful colors help remind you of what's going on each day so that you are, again, just living out the liturgical life. You've got reminders of um, all kinds of important days that you can follow and then plenty of room to write reminders here for yourself. The weekly spread is so cool. I love having this grocery list and you can see that it allows you to cut it out. Um, as I push it up here, you can see the little scissor line so that you can cut this part off and it won't um, take off anything important on your monthly plans, but then you can take this with you to the store. 
meal planning space. Oh my goodness, I am a broken record, but this is like my biggest pain point as a working mom and trying to just make sure I've got meals planned out ahead of time. And then you know I am obsessed with making a to-do list, checking things off and getting that physical satisfaction as it's all done. How cool is this to have prayer intention space this is great because I always am meeting people or thinking of things that I want to remember to pray for. And if I don't write something down, it just doesn't happen. So that's really great. Then you have note space. And then you get to the actual weekly planning pages. You can track habits up here or whatever you want to do with these um, little circles up top. You have the hours of the day and see that there's a single line listed for some of the early hours and then two lines for the kind of working hours so that you could expand on what you're going to do, maybe time block your schedule. I love that there's the emphasis on clarifying your most important tasks or commitments for each different day and then checklists for making sure that you stick with a daily prayer routine. This is amazing and so needed on my part. And then room to write your gratitude here. You'll note that Saturday and Sunday are half days and then the months are all identical like that with these great resources to just go week by week. And then we get to another month. Here you have February. I'll just kind of flip through so you can see the whole thing. Here is March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. And I hope you are seeing how easily you can flip from place to place and how flat everything lies because again, I chose the coil binding, but even in the regular book binding planner, it's just so, so well made and, and just such a great planner all around. In the very back, there's an extra notes section and you've got a bunch of beautiful lined pages for journaling or making a brain dump, tracking ideas, creativity, whatever it is that comes up. But I'm a big fan of having all kinds of extra notes pages right inside your planner. All right, you guys, so there it is. Go check it out, link in the description, but this is seriously just such an amazing resource for Catholic women that are looking to keep focused on their faith while organizing their lives. And you can see it has so much room for keeping your life together, which as a busy mom of four young kids, I sure need. I don't know about you, but I can't wait to use this in the year ahead. I would love to know what your favorite part of this planner was. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if it helped you. Subscribe if you haven't already and then jump straight into these videos so that you don't make some of the most common planning mistakes. I will see you back in another video. Have a great day.